Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, Jesse Warden here. We are going to teach you Lua programming in Roblox. Programming, gaming, fitness, Jesse Warden. This series of videos you can skip through. You do not have to watch them in order. We're going to walk you through everything you need to know to learn how to program in Lua and Luau. The two different languages. Lua is the normal programming language that most of Roblox has been using since 2006. Luau is the recently released version of that that allows strong typing or types to have less bugs as your code base scales and you work with many people. And we're going to cover how to use both of those, how to briefly use some of the geometry tools in Roblox and build things, and then how to take that code and connect them together to build your games and interactions that you're used to. We're also going to teach you a lot of the concepts around testing your code, around the different styles of coding, such as object-oriented programming and functional programming, and a little bit in between with a little just imperative style. That is what most people use to play around with. And from that, you can skip around these videos, and this will teach you the basics of how you can build games in Roblox. And then from there, we'll cover some more advanced patterns and some of the APIs that Roblox provides for you, so you don't have to code those things yourselves. We'll also cover some of the workflow tools that you use, such as Roho and some of the other testing frameworks, application frameworks like Roact and Rodux, very similar to React and Redux, if you're familiar with those. And this will give you a really good, large, 360 view of all the different facets of Lua programming and Luau programming. So again, I'm going to create a very specific order for these videos that I think you need to understand the basics, but you are more than happy to skip around if you already know the basics and you don't want a review of some of those things that we're going to cover. Feel free to skip ahead, skip back. Sometimes it requires multiple viewings of these videos. Once you understand a concept and then six months later after playing with it for a while, you come back, you have a better understanding. That's fine too. I've tried to make them really short really focus on a particular thing so you can review it. And at the end of that video, have something tangible that you can play with, that you can see code working.